In order to add or subtract rational expressions, just like fractions, we must have a common denominator. So when adding or subtracting rational expressions, the first step is to make sure the denominators are in factored form. So the first step is to factor the denominator of this fraction here. And we're also gonna put parentheses around the numerators and denominators. So for our first fraction, we'll have the quantity two x plus five over, now we'll go ahead and factor our denominator. We're gonna have two binomial factors. The first terms will be x and x. And then we want the factors of negative 18 that add to positive three. It's going to be positive six and negative three. So one factor is x plus six and one factor is x minus three. And then we have minus three all over a factor of x plus six. And now in order to find the common denominator, we just need to make sure the denominators contain the same factors. Well notice how this denominator here contains a factor of x minus three and this denominator doesn't. So if we're going to have like denominators, this denominator needs a factor of x minus three. And we can multiply the denominator by x minus three as long as we do the same to the numerator. Remember, anything over itself is equal to one, so this is like multiplying by one, producing an equivalent fraction, but now we have a common denominator. So now that we have a common denominator, we'll write this as a single fraction, where our denominator is the quantity x plus six times the quantity x minus three, and then we'll combine our numerators. So we have the quantity two x plus five minus, let's go ahead and multiply these. So we'd have minus three x minus nine. Remember here we just distributed the three. Now we want to clear these parentheses so that we can combine the like terms. And because we have subtraction here, we do have to be careful. To clear the parentheses for two x plus five, we can just drop the parentheses or think of distributing a positive one. But since we're subtracting the quantity three x minus nine, we need to think of distributing a negative one. So our denominator is gonna stay the same. We have the quantity x plus six times the quantity x minus three. Again, here we can just drop the parentheses or distribute one, so this is gonna be two x plus five. But here we're distributing a negative one because of the subtraction, so it's going to be minus three x. And then it's negative one times negative nine, so it's going to be plus nine. And now we'll combine the like terms in the numerator. Here we have two x minus three x. And here we have five plus nine. So again, our denominator stays the same. Well, two x minus three x is going to be negative one x or negative x. And then we have five plus nine, that's plus 14. This will not simplify because negative x plus 14 does not factor. And therefore, there are no common factors other than one between the numerator and denominator. But sometimes you will see this expressed in a slightly different way. If we wanted to, we could factor out a negative or negative one from the numerator. If we factor out a negative, it's just gonna change the sign of the x and change the sign of the plus 14. So we'll have minus 14. So it could be expressed this way. Of course, these are equivalent, so it shouldn't matter. But there's also one other way you might see this expressed. Sometimes when we have a negative fraction like we have here, you'll see the negative sign written out front of the fraction. And then we'll just have x minus 14 in the numerator and our factors of x plus six and x minus three in the denominator. So all these fractions are written correctly, but I do think it's important that we notice they are equivalent because depending on your instructor or text, you may see it written any of these three ways. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.